have to end the set here. So uh, again, see you back when uh, uh, probably later on. So I'm in the mood. <laughs> Fucking phone calls. So yeah, see you then, everybody. Welcome back. The second part of the first monastery part. Second part of first part of the last part that was behind this part. I thought, you get it. Basically, I'm trying to sneak another hour before I go to well, I attempt to go to sleep. Since it's already 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> uh, jogging, everybody! Magical flying. So yeah, I'll do this part for another 10 minutes or so. And then we start the other hour. Because it's because I only recorded about 1 hour and 60 minutes. And that doesn't look proper! Uh, what were we supposed to do? <coughs> About Hemlar. About Hemlar. Hemlar was dealing Bruegel weed. Hmm. What do you think? You're making progress. You've spoken to Casper, I suppose. He's a bright lad. Work with him and report to me once you've found the murderer. I assume you no longer need the corpse for your investigations. I'll take care of it. So that Hemla may go to his final rest. Yes, and I can go to my final rest in the room where he died. Cool. Um, apparently I blocked the circulation. Sorry, sorry. Also, if you're watching this, like daily you're watching my shows, which means you're one of the What are you doing here? Ten guys who actually does that. <laughs> and four or five of them. Actually, most of them are my friends anyway. Rejoice! They fixed the starting online box. Yay! Ruining immersion for everyone by mentioning another game. So I'll be playing some Starship Online pretty soon. Casper. Palace gave me a list of everyone who can leave the monastery. Let's have a look then. One of these people must have been Hemlar's partner. I don't know. It could be any one of them. You'll have to get them on their own, see what they know. Enzo and Ash are in the upper area of the monastery during the day, though. You're going to have to wait until nightfall to talk to them. That's when they return to their chambers. Unless you manage to finish basic training, then you'll get access to the upper monastery. Or did they death. What about you? You're on the list. You think I'd risk getting caught doing that? You stick out and cause trouble here, you get sent to the ruins. You could be lying. Yeah, but I ain't. Come on, would I be helping you if I was? You can keep questioning me, but you'll be wasting your time. Ah, charisma fails. <laughs> yes, if you fuck up in here, you get sent to the Eastern Front to face the Russians, goddammit. <laughs> so listen to the Führer, even obeys. Sorry, can't say that uh, straight face. Obviously, it's all a big joke. And what do you want here? Oh my god, who do I need to talk to? Let's see, where's the fucking list? List, list, list. Now, Carlsen, recruit and smith. Cool. Tucker, recruit. Oh, there was somebody else around here. Harlock, recruit and cook. Can't talk with him. Enzo, Ash, Casper, Taylor. Who's Taylor? Recruit, <coughs> recruit. Have you killed somebody yet? Did you know Hemla? Of course. This is a small place. Not knowing someone is damn difficult. Did you have much to do with him? No. He just got his staff and... And... And what? Well, now and again he sold people some Bruegel weed. Everyone knew what he did. It was the monastery's worst kept secret. <laughs> well, no obvious dialogue prompts, so there you go. Can't actually accuse him of killing him. What can you tell me about Hemlar? Hemlar? Never got to know him. He's been here longer than us, so he didn't talk to new recruits. You must know something about him. Well, he spent a lot of time with Harlock in the kitchen. And uh -huh. Harlock isn't the sort that talks much, but apparently the two of them had things to talk about. But you'll have to ask Harlock what it was. The pieces are falling into place, everybody. Uh, 
recruit, recruit, okay, go. Oh, Rick doesn't want to talk to me since I punched his uh, face in with my sword. <laughs> uh, Wilhelm. I think there's one guy at the door. That's his name, yes. Uh, Talman. Hey, you've been sent to relieve me. About time. I'm dog tired. You want me to muck out Dunn? I thought you were here to relieve me. Come on. I wouldn't ask you to do it for nothing. What are you offering? I'll give you a bottle of something special. A bottle of fire flush. <laughs> What's fire flush? It's a mage wine. One you have to be careful of. Strong, is it? Blow your socks off and curl your toes at the same time. And very <coughs> difficult to get hold of. What would I want with special wine? Keep it for a special occasion. I mean, if you were to give this to a special someone, they'd feel great. A couple of sips, they wouldn't know what they were saying. It's a mage wine to save for special occasions is fire flush. I mean, I can get you wine wine as well, but this is your wine plus, your wine extra, your wink and your nod. What, Rufy? What the fuck? <laughs> Do you look after the wine cellar? I have the noble title of Mage's Cellar Master. I received the wine cellar key from Master Ignatius himself. <laughs> So what do the mages think about you trading their wine? They don't mind. They have other things to worry about. The future looks rather grim as I see it. So why not crack open a bottle or two? So, if you ever need it, I can slip you a couple of bottles. Thanks. I'll remember that. Yes, and uh, if you need special abilities, shall we say, I'm your man. Special abilities? What special abilities? Ones that not every warrior of the Order <coughs> has. Such as? I'm talking about dexterity. Slight of hand. Relieving pockets of their burden. Oh, right, I see. Why are you digging a dung heap? Did you upset someone? No, it just needs to be done. So they send someone of my talents to shovel shit for days. It's about time somebody else <laughs> took care of this crap. <laughs> I have a question about picking pockets. All right. Remember, the most important thing is to distract your target. It's the only way you can successfully steal from them. <laughs> like that. What the hell is wrong with my clock? What the hell is it working? <sighs> I'll see if I can find someone to relieve you. You won't leave me up shit creek, as it were. All right, all right. I'll give you the bottle I promised, on trust. I trust you, right? You have an honest face. Mine, so do most of the thieves I know. Uh, new. It's their dishonest hands you have to worry about. Get hold of a novice to take my place. They're usually made to sweep up anyway. Oh, I mean the other novices, of course, not you. <laughs> What can you teach me? So, eh, all dexterity. Give me the key to the cellar. This is no mere cellar key. It's the key to utter bliss. Then give me the key to bliss. You might as well ask me to tear out my heart and hand it to you. Look, I only want to borrow it. No, absolutely out of the question. Well, officially we're in the first hour. <laughs> Last hour, only hour. Hopefully, I have enough room to actually record an hour of gameplay. Good. You going Good. to stand here all day? Yes. Is that a problem? Didn't know it was a limit. Should sleep until next morning. Actually, I should, should have slept until uh, midnight, so everyone was here, and I could talk to them. And tell them somebody wants you to dig up shit for somebody else. <laughs> well, I want you to dig up shit for somebody else. Tell them. Nope. nope. Come back later. Nope. Nope. Uh, later. 
Nope. Ah, what does it do anyway? The special wine that does special things to special people. Uh, very fine wine that leads to mega <laughs> uh, I'm guessing it's a quest item. Herp derp derp. Imagine that. Quest item. What are you? Taylor. Yes. <clears throat> what do you know about Hemla? Hemla? Grumpy git. Always sneaking about. You didn't like him? Most of us who bought from Hemla didn't like him. Just what he sold. Dealing with Hemla was just a necessary evil. What did he sell? Brugelweed. Smokes. Inflated prices, though. He knew it was hard to get in here. You seem annoyed. Well, he went and got himself murdered, didn't he? So now, no Hemlar, and no Bruegel, either. Huh. Nope, the writing. I can't help you. Give me your apple. <laughs> it's mighty fine, buddy. Okay, fine, you can take my apple. Hey, Taylor. Hey, Taylor. It's time for you to take care of the dung heap. And what are you offering? Offering? Well, I have no problem with getting dirty, but everything has a price. What's your price for dealing with the dung heap? Harlock stew. It's about the only decent thing to eat in here, and he only makes it once in a blue moon. And you want my share? Yes. For a task you're supposed to do anyway. Okay, fine. Then just bring me ten apples instead. Fruit keeps you regular. You don't want to be corked up in a place like this. Really? Fuck you, I'm gonna give my ten apples. Hard look stew. Shouldn't have given him the stew. That's the stew anyway. Okay, it's better than apples. <laughs> Fine, here's your ten apples. Here are the apples you wanted. Thanks. I'll get down the dung heap right away. You're welcome. Okay, so we've talked to that guy, we talked to that guy, that guy, that guy, you know him, it's that guy. See, can't talk to him, talk to him, can't talk to him. Casper, talk, talk, so Enzo and Ash and then Harlock. <coughs> make way, make way, make way, make way. Special investigator. Man, the fucking leather helmet looks dumb. <laughs> Well, oh crap, now he's not here anymore. Is that him? What the hell is he? Yep, 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 yep. Up, nope, nope, not yet. They're gonna come. Ah! How are you doing? Any word on a replacement excrement relocation officer? I found you a new shit shoveler, if that's what you mean. <laughs> I know, I've seen them. Thank you. I'd better go and check on the wine. Harlock has some top quality wine. I'd better taste it. Make sure it's not gone off. Why not try a few? Make doubly sure. <laughs> well, uh, give me that apple. Are you Leave. out of your nope. mind? Nope, 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 nope. Basically, if you do actually get caught stealing, you can just let them beat them up, beat you up, and then everything will reset. You'll be forgiven for your crumbs, well, mostly, I think. Of course, they'll also steal some gold off of you. That's what they do. They're ass for long enough. But then again, you did steal from them, so... And got caught. You should be punished for getting caught. Eat the apple. Eat, eat the apple. Eat the apple. Eat, eat the apple. Halt. Stranger. I've finished my training. I have permission. Then you can enter the upper area of the monastery. Eat the apple. Eat, eat the apple. Who's that? What are you? Enzo. <laughs> ah, a novice searching for magical enlightenment. Hey. Got a smoke to spare? I don't touch that stuff. Rot's your brain, and the brain is all you have, whatever you do. Your body will fail you, but the brain won't. Uh, you really had nothing on you. That was disappointing, and all the apples meant nothing. 
And who are you? My name is Enzo. I too am a seeker of knowledge. Found any yet? Indeed. The books are very illuminating. You will learn much from them. Books, knowledge. I'll remember that. And I also advise you not to try entering the Holy Hall if you do not have permission. Why? Do you see those guards? Well, their fists are what you get if you're lucky. If you're not, you'll get that and punishment detail. I strayed, and now I must sweep the floors instead of studying. Well, maybe you'll find enlightenment in that. You think so? Really? Then I must devote myself harder to it. He doesn't get it, does he? <laughs> Do you know much about Hemlar? I believe he is one of the recruits. He once tried to sell me some Bruegel, but I did not wish to receive enlightenment that way. Well, that was simple. Um, Cyrus, no, we do not want to talk to Cyrus just yet. We're on a mission. Mission of peace. I am Master Ignatius, and you are... You have completed your basic training, but there are still challenges ahead of you. <coughs> Does that mean you want to set me a test? It means I wish to show you something. Bye-bye. <laughs> halt! There's no admittance to the temple area. Yeah, okay. Stay behind me. Well, oh, come on, man. Is that Ash? Better be Ash. Yes. How are you doing with your studies? Some days I don't think I'm going to complete mm. my studies. Not even if I manage to live to a hundred. Apples will go old apples. Did you know Hemler? Not really. He was a friend of Harlock's. If Harlock has friends, that is. Why shouldn't Harlock have friends? He's a pirate. I heard he was once cook on the Eleanor. Cook, dishwasher, and onboard psychopath. He's utterly evil. A killer who doesn't care. But he got on with Hemler. Even killers don't kill everyone. Suppose even they need friends. What's the Eleanor? The Eleanor's a ship. She belongs to the worst pirate on the Nine Oceans. Captain Gregorius Emmanuel Steelbeard. Steelbeard? Can you tell me about him? Anything other than his name? Yes. Stay out of his way. They say he was seen in Harbour Town not long ago. Who knows what he was doing? Right. Thank you. Now, Where are you? Eat more apples and hopefully get another point of sight. One more point, come on. Now, be that way. We'll eat carrots then. <laughs> I don't think carrots work. Let's get some eggs. What plans do you have for me? This is the library. Bend over. These books <laughs> contain much wisdom. Once you have read these books, and learned the ritual that opens the door to the Convocation, then we will talk again. Right. Oh look, secret door. <laughs> Rufus. Bench. Bookstand. This text is about magic spells. Here, about scrolls and ingredients. Preparing a telekinesis scroll requires wing dust. Wing dust, I see. You know, for a library, it's very small. Just saying, speaking of, you have another spell I need to use here. Great illusion, keep at eight. Oh, come on, nope. No, I think that's it, that's the entire thing. This lock is too <laughs> difficult. Well, enjoy your illusion. This is the library, it has only one book stand. Fine. Be like that. This is where the uh, mages sleep. Left and right. I might as well talk to Rufus. Yeah, we pretty much have definitive proof. Hey, novice. That Harlock <coughs> is an asshole and a pirate. 
and maybe he killed him. Would you mind if I looked at that book? By all means. I need to rest my eyes in any case. Oh great, I could have done that. What are you doing here? I'm looking for a book. Please. Any book in particular? Don't go. It's called Wisdom in Combat. The monastery's supposed to have a copy. You like reading? Yes, I read a lot. And write a lot. You write books? Books, no. Scrolls. I make sure the Order always has enough healing scrolls. I spend most of my time doing that, actually. In the writing chamber. Oh, and I also train and practice with the crossbow. The crossbow? We don't use them in warfare. But the truth is, I'm damn good at it. And I enjoy it. Are you good enough to train me? You don't hold back, do you? But yes, I can train you. Cool. What can you teach me? Too bad I know you use crossbows. At all. Ah, see, now I can actually read that. Interesting. So I know. Basically, I believe illusion doesn't break their uh, hold on the books that I don't know, possession, whatever it is script it has that prevents me from actually reading it while somebody else is reading it. But this was nice and let me read it. I have read all the books. Is that so? Then you can tell me the title of the second book you read. Falsehoods are easily discovered. <laughs> Stop there. Fine, old meetings. The second book, what are you talking about? But maybe he gave me some books. No, he didn't. So what the hell are we talking about? Maybe there's some books there that I can read. So... Nope, nope, what the f yep. Oh, no, no, what? what the hell? <sighs> now that completed the fortune. <coughs> All the books in the library. One book, two book. Nothing here worth my time. Ah, so that's his test. Basically, I need to actually find the fact that there's a secret room in here with a secret book. I remember now. Of course. It's the underground, must be prepared. Oh, now I remember. Don't kill me! Yes! something here about magic. There's always something here about magic. What scroll was that? How do you write scrolls? Nobody knows. Open clicky 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 clicky. Clickity clickity. Nope. Like that. Clickity clickity. Well, I missed you too, honey. <laughs> clickity clickity. No. On words. It's a bench. Uh, yeah. This text is about magic spells. Oh look, echo. Cool. Book. Found a book of something. What is it? Unruled magic. Was the gods who bestowed magic upon humans? Blah 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 blah. blah. That some other time when we're not on a time limit. Place the picture? No. <coughs> Interesting. Really? Pretty much so, huh? So there is a way up there. Just need to find the light. Clickity 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 clack. It's the ball of telekinesis, of course. Of that course was I was it. looking down and I forgot to look up just in case there was it something worked. up. Peeling speed, light, cool. <coughs> Well, 
Would you look at that? Come on. Yep, 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 yep. In case I'm lazy. Oh, that's another one. This is the reloading. <laughs> Yeah, they made a fucking sound. Goes Luckily for me, I have light spell. Magic doesn't work here. <laughs> Currently, I'm in an anti magic spell. That didn't do it. It worked. Bones, potions, eh, meh. It's loot. <clears throat> Small mana potion. Another chest. That wasn't it. That didn't do it. Better start again. Job well done. You only have to make sure you don't miss an old uh, wisdom books down here. So. There has to be a way to open this. The question is how? I know there's a way to open this thing. Could be totally wrong. Okay. This is a crystal ball thing. Read that. That's impossible. That's impossible. The reason why I'm turning on the light is so you can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> so, I've been here, been here, read that. This is a crystal of telekinesis. Oh. So I can use this to push the switch? Good. Or I could use this to do that. Come to me! Come to me! <laughs> Fine. This is gonna take up all my time. Also, did you notice the hole down there? Because I did. What else is there to come to me? Stop being such a noisy prick. Not to this transformation. Uh -huh. Told you. Come to me. Uh. Whoops. Sorry. There's something here about magic. There is something here about magic. Interesting. Well, interesting. Stop growling, Jesus. There's something here about magic. Yes, yes, something here about magic. <clears throat> this text is about magic spells. Interesting. Indeed, indeed. And you mind telling me what's so interesting? Vingardia Leviosa, a ball of levitation, a chest. Better start again. That wasn't it. Damn. Love this song down in the background. It really worked. Ominous. Ominous? Ominous. Ominous. <laughs> so, all of us pretty cool. cool. Might be useful. The mage places himself in a floating state. He moves only with the power of his mind. As long as he concentrates, <coughs> heights can also be overcome. However, this requires more concentration. 